And, <clears throat> and now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Joe uh, is here to tell us a little bit about uh, combining paleontology with stand-up comedy. Come again. Combining paleontology and stand-up comedy. Yes. Um, you are going to uh, tell us some, some stand-up humor. Uh, yeah. Because I like to say paleontology is inherently funny. I, I yeah. Say, if somebody came up to you on the street and told you there was an epoch long before man where the world was ruled by giant reptilian monsters, all right, what would you do? You, know, you yeah. go for the old pepper spray and ask, you know, what are you, what are you smoking so I can get some or something. But if a paleontologist came up to you on the street and told you that there was an epoch long before man where the rule was ruled by giant reptilian monsters, then you'd believe him. Well, paleontologists realize this and they're having a laugh with it constantly. Indeed, Sir Richard Owen, the guy who invented the dinosaur, was known to refer privately to paleontology as the hilarious science. Well, now, what I'm learning here, and maybe you're learning at home, is that nature isn't new. I thought it was just invented the other day. We also that the divine wisdom created the world. But, but stand-up comedy, and I know this, isn't meant to be done from a chair. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to stand you, up. I'm going to stand you have, up. All right, okay. I now surrender the floor right. to Joe for this some is prehistoric little, This fun. is my little stand-up comedy first. paleontology routine, which I like to call, Whose Bone Is It Anyway? Um, and if, we, if we get anybody to maybe... Uh, I think you're headless. You there here? we go. If we can get anybody to, uh, to maybe, uh, you know, hit the drum or... or it's like Johnny Carson. It, 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 like, what was that thing Ed McMahon used to say? Hi yo! Yeah, I'm sorry. Hi yo! With a punch. All right. Um, I'm excited okay. for this. Here we go. Yeah, this is paleontology and stand up, stand up comedy. Okay. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and any other hominids that may be here tonight. Is there anybody here from Pangea? They're cracking up already. Look at this. Okay. Two guys walking down the street. First guy says to the second guy, hey, what's your favorite kind of dinosaur? Second guy says back, Rudiodon. First guy says, Rudiodon, that's not a dinosaur, it's a phytosaur. Second guy says, hey, they're both Mesozoic archosaurs. Hi oh! Yeah, there we go. We oh. <laughs> crack it up. Um. What do you call a sauropod in the Pleistocene? Extinct! I did not know that. Extinct. Yeah. What, what is this? An audience or a fossil? This is like the this is like a Permian mass extinction out here. Well, um. Okay. Focus. <coughs> get more out of it. You get more out of it. Maybe that you just want up a little bit. Um. My mother-in-law is so old. Huh? How old is she? My mother-in-law is so old, old is that she? she can't get used to all these thecodonts running around. <laughs> My mother, see the My mother-in-law is so old. How old is she? She's so old that she I still refers to the Jurassic period as the Lias. My, my mother-in-law is so old. How old is she? She's so old that she still calls a Patasaurus Brontosaurus. I don't get paid for this. Hi -o. Oh. <laughs> I did not know that. Oh, yeah. oh big chief. Oh, tell jokes about dinosaurs. Make much wampum. Uh, another okay. What's that? Tiles. What's that you say, everyone? What? Yeah, I do imitations. Yeah, okay. Here's, here's Jerry Steinfeld as a paleontologist, okay? Why is it that they call the theropod dinosaurs theropods? They're the ones that have the feet like birds. Shouldn't they call the theropods ornithopods and the ornithopods theropods? Why? I would like to know. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, 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 imitation. All right. Who's this? Who's this? All right, imitation now, folks. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Well, really, the span of geological time between the Devonian and the Silurian is really just a blink of the okay. geological eye, really. Okay. Mm. Stephen Jay Gould, a, a, a paleontologist, and a pompous one at that. that yep. Maybe we can folks. have him on the show. Now, folks, I can see you're all cracking up at here and at home. Oh, I'm just gonna... And for the first time, we've seen paleontology mixed with stand-up comedy with hilarious results. 
And you know, some people told me when I went into this venture that it might be a bit too esoteric, but I like to look at it this way. And all I can do, folks, at the end of my routine, whose bone is it anyway, is leave you with the words of Ricky Nelson in his 1972 hit, Garden Party. Because you see, if you can't please Theosaurus everyone, you've got to please Theosaurus yourself. Thank you. I owe. I owe. I owe. I did not know that. Weymouth after dark. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. My next show starts at 11. Well, I think we've... I'm thinking about doing that in, like, dinner theater and, like... I should be doing that at Liberto's next week, folks. So if you want to catch some really great stand-up comedy and learn maybe a thing or two about the, you know... That could be kind of like... Mesozoic while you're at it. Joey and Pteranodon's mystery wedding. But... Well, all right, well, not everyone can but do But you know what I like to um, say? Not everyone can. You know, I'm a professional comedian. Often an amateur will throw off a professional like that. And so I like to say, folks, the divine wisdom created the world in order that all things in his... And